only a dream. Yet it had been so vivid. I had even recognized the faces of my friends among the terrified, ill-fated passengers. The following night, I dined with some of them and told them of the dream. And you say I was in it? Yes. And it was a twin-engine plane, a Dakota. Yes, that's right. Well, all I can say is I'm glad we're going in a Liberator, not a Dakota. But we are going in a Dakota. From that first strange coincidence, the pieces of that nightmare dream began to fit a terrifying pattern of reality. In some uncanny way, the shape of things to come grew frighteningly clear. For we were in Hong Kong, and in the East, the powers of superstition and presentiment are strong. But this is terrifying. It's frightening, just like the dream said. What dream? Oh, well, don't you know? It's most uncanny. There was a man in Hong Kong who had a most extraordinary dream. Will you please stop it? You realize that every detail has come true, that only one remains, and that that one will come true as sure as fate, unless you stop it now. I shall do what I consider right. And then you'll be the only lucky one, because you won't be alive to know the appalling thing you've done. There was no change of plan, no loophole or reprieve at the 11th hour. And as those 13 went aboard the plane, each detail in the dream was finally complete. They taxied down the runway and took off. Their destination, Tokyo. Their chances of survival, who could tell? <laughs>